Hello, welcome or welcome back. I'm Remy Harris. I'm a business consultant and author of the book Easy Money, the Definitive UK Guide to Funding Music Projects. So this is part of a series of videos to tell you what's in each chapter of the book and give you a few quick funding tips. Today we're looking at chapter six, which is on sponsorship. The music sponsorship is a fee paid by a company in return for the commercial benefits to being associated with an artist or with the artist's music or with a music brand or a festival. And sponsorship can be in cash or in kind. So it can be money, but it can also be given in goods or services like free flights, free clothing um, or free musical equipment. And for a long time, music sponsorship was quite simple. It was a brand displaying its logo in the background, maybe while an artist was performing. And that does still exist. But now sponsorship operates in much more sophisticated ways. And it's often described using the term brand partnership rather than sponsorship to reflect the expectation from companies really that they'll be in partnership with the artist or the festival um, and working collaboratively with them to exploit the commercial potential in the partnership rather than just slapping their logo on something that the artist already has created. And I talk in the book about the jargon used in, in branding. Um, there's loads of it. So if you're dealing with agencies, you'll find a lot of these terms, brand partnerships, etc., come up. And there's a full glossary in the book, um, in, the ch in this chapter, about some of the terms and what they actually mean in simple English. Um, I profile also one uh, brand ambassador deal. That's another bit of jargon there for you, which is uh, Carl Barat, um, ex of Dirty Pretty Things and the Libertines. And he was a brand ambassador for Philips. So in there, his management company talked to me about how his brand ambassadorship worked and what he had to do in return for um, the support from the brand. And then I also interview three sponsorship brokers about how they do their sponsorship deals in music, how they work out the commercial terms and so on. And one key tip that I got from working on this chapter was that it is all about your network in sponsorship. And if you're not already a big brand yourself who's got people knocking down your door to come and sponsor you, then you're going to have to work cleverly through your networks using LinkedIn or any industry connections that you have as a way to get into a company and get yourself in front of brand managers. And if you can't do that, another tip is go via the CEO of the uh, of the brand or the company that owns the brand, go to their PA or their assistant um, and they will help direct your inquiry um, and normally be a little bit easier and more open to contact than the brand manager if you can't find them. So that's a very quick overview of what's in the sponsorship chapter. There's loads more tips in there and um, I hope you found that useful today. I hope you get a copy of the chapter because it will save you time if you are looking for sponsorship and make your funding search a little bit easier and help you turn your idea into a financially successful project. You can get the book and the individual chapter from musictank.co.uk and you can follow me on Twitter at Remy McHarris. Thanks very much and bye for now.